when this first happened, you were how old? 11? 11. He touched you inappropriately while you were asleep. Right. So you tell your mother and take me through that moment. This has happened to you and you muster up the courage to go tell your mother. Take me through that moment when you told your mother about this. Was it scary for you? It wasn't really scary for me to tell her. I was more just kind of confused and like disoriented, like what just happened. And what came of it? Um, nothing. I mean, she had called a counselor and tried to get him some counseling, but that didn't really happen. So you just continued living together? Right. He'd be in the same room with you, same dinner table, same couch, watch the TV, whatever. Yeah. Did he ever say anything to you about it? No. Okay. You built up resentment right away. Definitely, yeah. To your parents. What did you want them to do? Well, I wanted them to put me first, and I don't feel like they did that. Um, they let him, you know, just go back to normal. I mean, and this is going to sound crazy, but they didn't even, like, ground him. Like, they, life just went back to, like, normal, completely normal. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel about yourself? Um, it made me feel like I wasn't as important as my brother. It happens a second time, mm -hmm. and you're 13 now. Mm -hmm. You go to your mother again, mm -hmm. and she says what? How did, how did this happen again? I don't understand. So she, she was confused. She was angry again, but then again, how angry can you be? I mean, it's partly, you're partly to blame because you didn't do anything in the first place to protect me. Mm -hmm. Had you learned of any other victims along this time frame, or did you learn about them later? Uh, when we were younger, I remember that he did molest a young girl. The parents came and wanted to confront the situation, right? Mm -hmm. And your mother knew it had happened, right. but she denied it. Yeah. She, um... I think in her mind, it was like it was her son. She wanted to defend his honor. But at the same time, I mean, he's, he scarred these girls for life. He took away their innocence just like he did mine. How did CPS get involved? Um, CPS, Child Protective Services. CPS got involved when she finally took him to that counselor. They said, we have to call CPS, um, and they're probably going to remove him from the home. Mm -hmm. So it all happened within one day. I mean... That morning, he went to the counselor, and by the end of the day, um, we were separated. Mm -hmm. So that counselor was triggered at that point, called CPS, and they came out and did an investigation, a home study, and said one of the two of you had to get out of the house. Right. Were you glad to see him go? It was hard because, I mean, at the same time, mm -hmm. I was angry, but he was my brother, and that had been my entire life was, you know, all of us together. But at the same time, I was like, wow, finally somebody cared enough to do something.